and hi boys and girls this is your old pal Uncle Al aka Die Bullfrog 79 like and subscribe to my channel hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the little little bell thingy right there and today remember I was going to talk about dangers of ASMR okay and you can look it up on I hope you can see that I'm sorry keep hitting the wrong buttons on the screen I hope you can see that that's on Wikipedia okay you can take a good look at that folks I hope you can see it Uncle Alan's a little blind there we go okay that's A S M R okay this is important because a lot of preppers and people on the internet are like we can make a fast buck get more views uh, do stuff uh, do um, uh, we could do all these stuff with S M R S A S M R and we don't know what we're doing uh, you don't let a five-year-old kid drive an 18-wheeler with 24 gears. You don't do that. All right? Now, the big headache, and let's switch hats, buy a cowboy hat, and bring out my, oh, let's see, a tie. Okay, and bring out my big hat of thinking, because I have to warn people. Okay? ASMR dangers of it like I told before in an earlier video I was going to do one this has to be a fast one and because there's a lot of information okay now everybody knows Uncle Alan's a conspiracy theorist I prefer being called the kook uh, because it throws off a lot of people's AIs and I'm on a lot of people's AIs list so that throws them off Secondly, I have to talk really fast. Is it very clear? And you can see my top hat. I don't know why people like the top hat. But AMSR, Autonomous Sensory Merdan Response. It's like a mild sensation, anywhere from a relaxing tingle to a mild orgasm. It creates a euphoria feel. Euphoria feel like a mild electrical discharge it goes from the head shoulders and central spine uh, it can be trigger triggered by certain stimuli sound visual um, biggest thing right now is whispering that tr triggers it no one remembers the bad guy who fought the the Justice League of America or Batman in, during the 50s uh, he was called the Whisperer. He wore like the 1930s version of the Shadow. It's an old, old radio show you kids won't remember. But he used to go around with a slouch hat, a scarf to cover his face, and a trench coat and carry 245s. Well, the Whisperer did it. And he dressed like that for 20 years until they took him off uh, from comic books, from movies, and everything. And he was a very successful villain and he was meaner than the Joker he had an aide de camp like Cato on the Green Hornet they fought Batwoman in the early 1960s his main power was S uh, A S M R Ottoman long story you know what I'm talking about uh, he whispered people to make th them do things or uncontrollably act things so I got to do this fast because I got a little time and a little short. It's a complicated subject. Now, I don't think with the new Batman, Batwoman show, they're going to introduce this character again because they had legal issues from the Shadow, uh, from the Green Hornet, um, a lot of people. And also the character was pretty evil. You know, he shot up a busload of crippled kids. He d pushed, there was one great scene that they never showed 
of him pushing a little old lady in a wheelchair up the stairs. Ah! So I don't think they're going to ever put that character in because the writers over at Warner Brothers DC and I forgot the other parent company of DC Comics have no idea what Uncle Alan is talking about because it's a part of a Mandela effect. Duh! Take that, Wes S. Mandela effect. You don't even remember the whisper. Oh, I think he's talking about the shadow. No, I'm talking about the whisper. Still don't get it. And you read comic books, Wes. Yeah, I know you're in Bible school, but you read a lot of comic books. Okay. For modern days, the good example of this is the fame, fame, paint, paint, paint by numbers or paint by uh, person was Bob Ross. He spoke in a low voice. He had visuals which were very calming, calming colors, soft lighting, and he also had brush strokes that you heard. All right. Uh, also, it was for PBS. It was a form of brainwashing or out of suggestion. So every time you watch this program, you feel relaxed, calm, and you buy all the stupid PBS stuff, like the mug. Or a scarf, or the book bag, or a 10-year donation cycle. Okay, Bob understood it. Painting was a side effect of his research. Now, if anybody read Bob's history, he had a major in history, uh, had major in painting and arts, but he also had a minor in psychology. Now, a lot of people don't understand that uh, a SMR was part of the MK Ultra program. Really hush hush. Only a few, 14 worldwide universities knew about it. They kept it hush hush because the Americans and Soviets was using it. Didn't work out too well because a lot of their um, drones and pawns went going okay, went nuts. And they had a lot of bad side effects with it. Now, who's paying for ASMR is the most evil form of government advertising. And I, here's a couple of cat. Oh, I'll go check that on uh, uh, Wikipedia, Medical Canadian Journal of Sciences. Uh, I still don't get it. Uncle Alan reads Jamba and other things. I don't like to watch TV. I like to read. And I like to read medical journals. So get that three head, boys and girls. Uncle Alan doesn't screw around when he's busy. Okay, I try to keep this six minutes, but it's going to run longer. So I have to uh, run this up. I don't want to make it two parter. Okay? AMSR can be addicting. All right? A lot of people don't realize it. But also, it could solve minor medical problems like insomnia, minor depression, anxiety, panic attacks. Also, what a lot of doctors and research groups didn't tell the general public, and they knew this for 40 years, it may cause either physical or psychological effects, as well as addiction. It may, it may increase, may cause increase of certain mental conditions, um, both in the users, users, people who creates the ASMR um, platform, or the victims, people who uh, <coughs> consume it. Now, I don't like to tell people who were, excuse me, for coughing, but Uncle Alan's not that well in health. But, you want to see somebody who dabbled in it and she's suffering the effects. Usually I don't tell people not to do things. It's a free country. If they want to do something, they can. But Uncle Alan's not going to shoot people, jump off a building, or say, I'm going to fly. I ain't that stupid. <clears throat> or jump out of the car and start dancing. It's a trick. Or you're really stupid. Okay, now I won't say this person because I like watching her program. She's a really nice girl. 
Okay, I'm going over 10 minutes. Go check out Allie Hardesty. Go check out her latest video. And then go see her ASMR channel. And you tell me, go look at through her videos and you go look at her. Okay, timestamp the day of when she started the ASMR. And you go look at the, uh, her current situation. So watch that very carefully. Again, Allie Hardesty. Go check out her channel. Okay. Sorry. Bad thing about ASMR. It can be used in brainwashing or controlled by either by the government or media, either by entertainment or or advertising. You have to do it right because there's a lot of side effects that they don't talk about or the researcher says, I don't think the mice will go after this. No. Okay? Now, uh, don't mess with it. Be very careful. Uh, here's one thing. One, it either you get addicted to it. Two, uh, it may cause auto erotica. You get addicted to the sexual side of this, of ASMR, okay, because it triggers primitive response. And if you get triggered, you go check out any porn site, and they'll get like, what, 800, 830 ASMR sites, and it's dealing with a very attractive lady whispering carefully, or doing something that is repetitive and it hits certain key trigger points. Now a lot of people like, oh, Uncle Alan's nuts. Don't know, don't know what he's talking about. Well, Uncle Alan may be nuts, but he isn't stupid. And I think Expired John stole that from me a lot. Okay, uh, uh, really short and fast. Sorry, I'm going over 30, 13 or 14 minutes. Sorry about that, kids. Sorry about that, boys and girls. But this is important because in the future, they're going to be using more ASMR, and they're going to really get you. And you're wondering why you're wiping your butt with a certain brand of toilet paper, and you don't realize why. Okay? Rob Painless. All right. Uh, Jordan Jakenberg. Please check out his channel and please donate to his cause. Uh, I'm not kidding. 2020, Jordan. And I hope you get the notes. I hope you make it. Because Uncle Alan can't teach you everything because nobody ever watches his videos. Nobody gets the hidden messages. I can't jump on top of their car, jump up and down wearing this hat, holding a big sign saying, Duh! Okay? Inspired John. Good luck what you're going to do, John. I'm 100% back. I'm 100% got your back. Tomorrow, uh, just in time prepping, will be on Saturday night. So please check out Will and his channel. Uh, today, I think Clint Moore's on and also Finger Lake Prepper at Prepper X channel. So do a quick search. I can't do it today. Sorry, guys. I got all these videos I got to do, and I got to save America, the world, and humanity, which kind of sucks. Okay, boys and girls, Harshman Hills, Conservative Views by Christine, High Desert Pioneer, West Wind Survival. Got to check out West Wind Survival. Really like the kid uh, uh, from Abu Dhabi is... Uh, Liam Hot Hot Heyman. Heyman. Okay, get it? Liam Heyman. Say Uncle Alan sent you over there and you're stopping by. Okay, what else do I have to write down? I got too many notes. Yeah, too many notes. Um, I wrote it down. I got to find it. One second, folks. Uh,
don't you have to hate when you go down into the secret vault and get information? Okay, Dash Out, uh, Insight Freedom, check them out. Michael Signs, check them out. If you're in the Illinois area and need a hard worker, go check out Michael Signs, check out his channel, Systematic Divide and Chris B. Okay, sorry this went a little long, but it's important. I'll catch you later, boys and girls. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It's DieBullfrog79, old Uncle Al. And doesn't matter if you believe me or not, just put that little thought of doubt into your head. That's all I ask. You know, and then please enjoy those channels I mentioned. Uh, catch you later, boys and girls. Bye.